हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कोठारी आई एम अ कंसल्टेंट स्पाइन सर्जन एट संचेती हॉस्पिटल पुणे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्पाइनल वर्टेब्रल हिमांजियोमास नाउ हिमांजियोमास आर मोस्ट कॉमन प्राइमरी ट्यूमर्स ऑफ स्पाइन दे आर बीनाइन ट्यूमर्स एंड दे हैव अ वैस्कुलर ओरिजिन इट इज अ very common incidental finding so if you analyze 100 mris 26 of those 100 mris will have an incidental hemangioma but 99% they are not symptomatic of the 100 hemangioma seen only 1 to 1.2% hemangiomas are symptomatic so they are benign tumors of vertebral origin they are primary vertebral spinal tumors and they have got vascular origin what are the symptoms usually they are asymptomatic as i just said but if at all symptoms arise it can be back pain and if the hemangioma enters into the spinal canal and causes cord compression then it can lead to radicular symptoms myelopathy neuro deficit weakness in upper limbs or lower limbs or even urine or motion control loss what are the other differentials means of if you see such lesion what other thing should come to a physician's mind number 1 it can be infection number 2 it can be metastasis that is cancer which is spread from other parts of the body to this number 3 it can be a osteoporotic fracture or number 4 some other primary vertebral bony tumor clinical examination is very important and in early cases if it is symptomatic there is a focal tenderness at the area where the pain is there range of motion is terminally restricted and painful you can do nerve root stretch test time range of motion tests and if at all neuro deficit is there in that particular segment of root the deficit can happen and if it's a cord level then long track signs can be positive hyperreflexia can be there weakness in the legs or upper limbs can be there and plantar reflexes will be extensive now how do you diagnose hemangioma so diagnosis is number one clinical and to support the clinical diagnosis there are investigations like x ray ct mri and triphasic nuclear bone scan but usually an x ray plus an mri with additional ct cuts usually give us the diagnosis So there are few adjectives which have been used in diagnosis, and they are called polka dot sign, corduroy appearance, or jail bar appearance because of the sclerotic bony bands. It gives a jail bar appearance or a corduroy appearance. What is the treatment? Treatment usually these are asymptomatic and they don't need any treatment. They just need observation and educate the patient of the red flags. what can happen and if it all if it happens immediately report to the doctor but if the vertebral hemangiomas are symptomatic then the treatment varies number 1 from a endovascular embolization which is done by a interventional radiologist and the feeder vessel which is causing the hemangioma is blocked and the treatment is done second if the body is symptomatic painful then there is a treatment of cement injection in the body which is a percutaneous treatment day care procedure which is vertebroplasty very rarely if there is a extension of the hemangioma into the vertebral canal and there is a neuro deficit then it involves stabilization vertebroplasty and doing a laminectomy and decompression of that hemangioma mass or even in some cases a complete end block resection of the vertebral body along with stabilization is necessary uh hi i'm gitesh fitness uh we have my son uh, chinmay fitness admitted to uh, sachini hospital uh, for his spine surgery uh, we detected this uh, uh, abnormality in the last 8 to 10 days and uh, both the mri and uh, spine uh, mri We got to know that Dr. Ajay Kotari uh, was one of the uh, best uh, surgeons in India. So we referred to him, and he came to him, and uh, 
uh, Eddie Walker's opinion. Uh, he gave us a lot of confidence on uh, the way the surgery is to be conducted. He explained us all uh, the steps that he would be taking up and uh, also the kind of technology that we be using, the latest technology which the hospital uses for such kind of uh, uh, surgeries. So, we did put in a lot of faith in him and his team and uh, that has worked. Uh, the, the surgery was very successful and uh, we are quite happy with the team and uh, Chilmi is also showing uh, great signs of recovery so it's just a matter of time uh, before he uh, finally gains his strength uh, in his legs and uh, yeah, thank you Dr. Kokali and the team, uh, thank you so much. Thank you.